Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Hope everyone out there is being healthy, being safe, staying away from anybody if you're sick, doing all the right things. Um, I've had some downtime. As you can tell, I've got a little bit of a quarantine beard going here. Haven't been able to get to a barber. Uh, I gotta start taking care of this myself again. It's getting long. But I did something really cool in the movie room that I wanted to show off to you guys. I'm calling it my doomsday bunker for movies, but it's really cool, so I want to show it off. Uh, that's what we're going to do in this video, and I'm also going to update you on some recent Blu-ray pickups and do a little bit of a collection update, so stay tuned for that. So just to give you guys a quick idea, here is where I usually shoot my videos, and there used to be a shelf here in front of the uh, window. I moved that shelf over to this side and uh, opened up some space over here for shooting videos, and the really cool thing I did was I took this closet. This was a closet. I had so much crap in it. I had just stuff from when I moved into this house. I had stuff that I never needed. I had a bunch of old technology, all kinds of stuff like that. I cleaned it all out, took everything out of here, and turned this into my own little uh, quarantine bunker for movies. So the first thing I did was I put all my complete series TV shows up on this shelf. Now I wasn't using this shelf for anything. It's a pretty typical uh, closet shelf, but I'm now using it for complete series. So you can see I've got all my Nickelodeon, Doug, Angry Beavers, Real Monsters, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, Fred and Stimpy, Wild Thornberries, SpongeBob, Hey Arnold, and then into some Comedy Central, Broad City, Nathan For You, Beavis and Butthead, uh, Community and Rescue Me. I need to dive into these now that we have time to watch them. Gotham, Hannibal, The Wire, Black Sails, Mindy Project, Twilight Zone, uh, all the way down to stuff like Big Little Lies, Vice Principals, and John Adams, some really good HBO shows. So this whole top shelf became a great space for storing all these really bulky box sets. Then as we move down into here, I have um, two of my uh, sort of smaller shelves fit perfectly against this wall, a little cubby here for some overflow DVDs, and then another one of those smaller shelves fits here. The ultimate goal is to put another two or three right against this empty wall, which would be really nice. I'll have plenty of room for storage, and this gives me a little added space in the uh, movie room. Now on the wall, I took some of my autographs and I moved them in here because I just like the look of it. John Carpenter, Al Pacino, Wes Craven, Nick Offerman. Also moved one of my Jason masks in here and I decided to display some box sets. So we've got De Niro and De Palma, Hellraiser, and then all my Batman uh, series. So Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, and the original Batman uh, TV series with Adam West. So I think these look really cool on top. And then over here on top of this shelf, some of my favorite Arrow video, uh, American Horror Project in the new Ringu set. I've got a little overflow here, stuff I'm still trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to do with it. Um, you'll notice I have two Criterion Godzillas. That's because if you watched my recent video, you know the first one came scratched. So they sent me another one, and they actually included all the discs, which is crazy. So I'm going to give that to somebody as a gift. Um, but I have basically two sets of this $200 uh, Blu-ray set now because they sent me a full replacement. They were just supposed to send the book, and I was going to move the discs over but they sent the whole thing, so that's pretty cool. Now, the two shelves I decided to highlight in here were my Scream Factory shelf with Arrow Video. All the Arrow stuff is down at the bottom, and also my Criterion shelf. Now, I did Criterion specifically because if you go to Criterion's YouTube channel, they do a series called the Criterion Closet, where they bring in famous filmmakers into this big closet full of their releases, and they let these people pick out movies. I thought it was super cool, and so I kind of took that idea and uh, played with it here and turned this little closet into my Criterion closet. Now I've got some overflow here. Like I said, a bunch of older DVDs, some of my movie books, um, which are like behind the scenes or art books, um, and a couple different books there. Some bigger box sets up here, like Gone with the Wind, Ten Commandments, Venom, uh, Christmas Story. Uh, that's actually my GoPro case. And then I do have a, just a couple laser discs. Um, this one's kind of cool. I mean, it's nothing like rare or anything, but it's Jurassic Park, um, letterbox edition, uh, still sealed 
and check the price tag on this if you can see it it's $49.99 so if you're complaining about spending 20 bucks for a movie nowadays the price has gone down so much $50 back in 1990 whatever it's crazy um, and then I also have Cinderella a uh, masterpiece deluxe laser disc edition so those are kind of cool i don't really collect laser discs but i love jurassic park it's one of my top five movies and the cinderella set has some really cool goodies on the inside so i decided to pick that up now over here on this shelf you'll actually see the end of my alphabetical collection so you got w x uh, y into z and now i'm using this as overflow storage so you'll see a lot of recent releases on here stuff that i've reviewed stuff that i've showed off in videos this is going to be kind of overflow until i can go back through and redo the alphabetical order again which i will at some point but in the future we'll fill these two walls with two more of these and that'll cover me for another 250 blu-rays which should get me another I don't know, six to nine months of storage. Now, really quick, let's go through some recent uh, pickups. First up, we got Spies in Disguise. This just came in on 4K. Stars Will Smith and Tom Holland as the main characters. I've heard good things about the 4K. It's supposed to look pretty cool. So I eventually need to break into this one and uh, see what that's all about. So that'll be coming in a video. Also have Richard Jewell, no 4K for this, just Blu-ray from Warner Brothers, but um, definitely love Clint Eastwood, love his movies. American Sniper was incredible. Um, unfortunately, his last one, 1517 to Paris, was kind of eh, but I heard that this one's better, so I definitely am going to check that out. Also have the new remake, uh, sorry, not not remake, I guess, it's, it's sort of a prequel or something, um, but The Grudge, The Untold Chapter from Sony, got this, this is just available on Blu-ray and digital, apparently has an alternate ending and a bunch of scenes that didn't make it into the R-rated cut, but I didn't hear great things about that, so we'll see what happens. Um, this is a really cool one, Seven Worlds, One Planet from BBC, and uh, narrated by David Attenborough, who does Planet Earth. Um, basically covers like seven different continents and it's a six disc blu-ray set so uh, and it's 4k now planet earth was reference 4k material so i'm really hoping that seven worlds one planet will be as well i will be checking this out i will get a 4k review out for you guys so you know what that one's all about um, kind of a late pickup for me, but I grabbed Happy Death Day to you. I bought this from Bull Moose, wanted to support them since they're all online right now. Uh, their stores can't be open, but I uh, got it brand new, factory sealed with a slip cover, which came in pretty good condition. So I was happy with this. It was only $12 on their site. Um, I liked the first Happy Death Day, and so I really wanted to get Happy Death Day to you. So I picked that up. Also in from DC, I have Superman Red Sun which is, uh, I believe I actually showed, did I show this in another video? I think I did. Um, but either way, Superman Red Sun, kind of like this alternate universe where um, Superman lands in Soviet Russia instead of in America and kind of what would happen there. And then a really cool horror movie, Come to Daddy, starring Elijah Wood. This is super creepy. I really liked it. Um, it is like the ultimate daddy issues movie, but it's with a guy and... He goes to meet his estranged dad he hasn't seen in a long time, and it is, it's gruesome, it is really quite the slasher, it's pretty savage, um, it's really not even, I guess I shouldn't even call it a slasher, but it is a, it is a brutal movie, um, it is really interesting, and it has a good story, so um, Elijah Wood does some really crazy stuff, he did a remake of the movie Maniac, which I really liked, and uh, this was another one from him where uh, he's a wild man, but he does some really, really good work. And Come to Daddy is, if you like horror movies and really kind of uh, brutal, savage, like really gory stuff, um, really creepy, Come to Daddy is one for you. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little mini closet collection tour. Um, I'm really enjoying this space. I think I could put a chair in here, just kind of hang out in here, maybe start shooting some videos. There's definitely enough room and enough lighting in this room to do it. So that could be a really cool sort of new space for me to do all this. But I just love sort of having this hidden and then walking in and having this awesome closet full of like my premium, my Criterions, my Scream Factory. I love that they're kind of set aside, almost like in a vault, like they're special. Um, I don't know. I really like this. I'm really happy that I'm 
I'm using this space now because it was totally unused. And it is a good, it's a pretty good size closet. I mean, it's not walk-in because the ceiling is slanted like the rest of the room. So I can't really stand in it, but I could definitely put a chair in here, sit down, um, you know, and just use it as like a chill out space. I don't know. Definitely thinking about shooting videos in here though. So let me know what you guys think. It might be a cooler, um, better area than what I was using before. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Uh, I have been busy lately. My, luckily, Massachusetts did recently shut down, but I do work for a business that was considered essential in manufacturing. Uh, we're doing a lot of work to uh, provide uh, tools for medical companies and defense and other areas that are considered essential. And so I am still working every day. I don't have a bunch of free time. Working from home is a little hectic. There's a lot going on. So I appreciate you bearing with me, uh, watching the videos as I can get them out. But I promise to be doing some more once I get more into the routine of this new normal, uh, working at home and new schedule. It kind of just throws you off for a little bit. But once I get more in the swing of things, there'll be more videos coming. Definitely more 4K reviews of great stuff like that BBC set, uh, Superman. I've got Karate Kid I've got to review, Jurassic Park, all kinds of backlogs. Um, so I'm getting to them. I swear I'm just slowly taking my time here because uh, it's a very wild time at work and a wild time in the world. So everyone stay safe. Hope everyone out there is healthy. Um, if you need anything from me, let me know. I'll do my best, but otherwise, you know, stay safe out there, be healthy. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your week.